Sunday. Welcome to the studio. It's Froyal here and I can't wait to show you what we're working on today. So one of the most common questions I get asked is about the Citrusol when dissolving National Geographic pages. Now, if you've seen my previous video, I show you step-by-step step how to use Citrusol to dissolve the National Geographic pages. They make incredible collage material because the pages are unique, one of a kind. It's amazing. It's a great process. It's a very simple technique, but you have to have the right solution. Now, I've used the Citrusol. It works perfect every time. I love it, but it's hard to get. If you're in the US, you are very fortunate, you can bathe in the stuff. <laughs> you have so much access. But if you're in Australia or New Zealand, it's a lot harder to find. You can get it, you can access it, and the bottles themselves are quite affordable, but the shipping will kill you in the end. <laughs> so I've been researching other solvents to use, and let me tell you, a lot of them don't work. I've tried the different citrus ones and they just don't have the power to dissolve the pages like I would like them to look. It's an ingredient called D-Limonian that you need. I might not be pronouncing that correct, but that's what you need. Right? <laughs> so today we're going to try a completely new solvent, degreaser. It's got to be a degreaser. Um, we're going with WD-40 Specialist Degreaser Fast Acting Citrus. It does have the right ingredient in the product. So I'm going to road test this one and see if it works. I haven't tried it yet. So you and I are both going to see whether or not this is just another failure or will this work to dissolve the National Geographic pages. Now, before we get in too deep, I want to tell you about Skillshare. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes and members in hundreds of countries. I'm both a student and a teacher on Skillshare. I've taken so many classes on everything that I want to learn, how to build a YouTube channel, how to take, how to take better photos with your iPhone, anything that you can think of that you want to learn that's going to improve your life or upscale your skills, you can find a class on Skillshare. It's a really easy platform to use and it has hundreds, uh, maybe thousands of classes on the platform. It's so exciting because there's so much to learn and there's so much to grow and develop and especially in the field of creativity. I now have 10 classes on Skillshare. I know, I'm a little bit excited, but what I love about this platform is with your annual membership, you can watch all of my classes for no extra amount. I love that. Do you know how much I could charge you individually? <laughs> It'd set you back quite a few dollars. But with Skillshare, you can watch all of them, stop them, rewind them. What did she say? Watch it again. I know, it's absolutely fabulous. I love it because it's value for money for you. That's what I love about it. There is just so much to explore on the platform. Now, the first 1,000 people to click on the link in the description will receive their first month free. Baby, you can't get more affordable than free. So, so click on the link and have a look at Skillshare and sign up for the free first month trial because I know you're going to love it. Did I mention I've got 10 classes, 10 classes on Skillshare for you to enjoy. So come and join me in the studio on Skillshare because let me tell you, we have a whole lot of fun. Now, I haven't used this before. I just went and bought it from Mitre 10. It's a five minute walk. I love it. You can get it from Bunnings in Australia and New Zealand. Um, if you go to Bunnings on a Saturday morning, you get a free sausage sizzle. <laughs> that's, that's always fun. Uh, it says that blah, blah, blah. Yeah, make sure you're in a well ventilated area and you should probably use gloves and a mask. And I don't know if you should really put it in a spray bottle. Now, the front cover never works for anything. It doesn't work for the Citrusol. It probably won't work for this. So let's just move past that. We'll give it a good shake because that helps everything. Oh, it is already in a spray. So that makes it easy. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> like I said, I haven't used this before. And I, oh my gosh, it's a foam. You know, I probably could have read the instructions better. I didn't. Uh, it does smell like that fabulous citrus smell. Um, yeah, I might need to go and open some more windows. But it just smells like um, citrusol. Oopsies. There's a little bit of overspray happening. So you might want to do it outside because it does <laughs> shoot a fair amount of overspray. <laughs> the stuff's going everywhere. Oopsies. Um, hold the phone caller. I think we need to go outside. <laughs> okay, so we took the mission outside because the overspray is crazy. You can't do this inside, just know, because it goes everywhere. It's like this crazy foamy stuff, which I really didn't expect it to be because the Citrusol was just a liquid solution. I got no idea if this is too much that I'm spraying on or if it's going to work. So, you know, you just got to try these things. It can only not work, right? So I decided I'm going to do, not that page, a couple of pages with the Citrusol, just so we can see a comparison. Uh, oh, these pages would be good. Let's go with this one. I've got some in a bowl here. This is the actual original Citrusol that I know works. So I'm gonna put that on a couple of pages and just try a comparison and see if the new product works as good as this product, which I know is amazing. It just have issues with the shipping. I think the new product smells the same as the Citrusol because it does have that citrus deline, deline mean? I, don't know, I don't know how you say it, ingredient, but I do think the Citrusol is probably going to be a lot stronger. And this one is actually the concentrate version. So that's going to probably make it a lot stronger too. So I'll just do a couple of pages and we'll have a good comparison and see which product works better. So I'm just going to close it up now and leave that for like 20 minutes because that's what I usually leave the Citrusol for. And we'll just see how we go with that weird foamy stuff. All right. Waiting, waiting. Right, so I left the magazine for half an hour outside. And let's see what we've got. Oh, man. It's not looking hopeful, is it? <laughs> it's fabulously saturated <clears throat> with that wonderful foamy stuff. But I don't think it's done the damage. Man, seriously? Oh, man. That's just disappointing. That's really not doing very much at all. It's shifting it a little bit. And I can smell the fabulous ingredient, citrus ingredient. But look, it's really not done anything. Oh, maybe it has to be longer. Shall I leave it longer? Oh, righto. If you insist, I'll leave it longer. But the, at this stage of the game, like half an hour, I would expect to have seen some kind of movement. And I was really hopeful for the WD-40 version because I know all the other citrus versions that I have tried have not worked. So if you ask me that question, I will tell you, no, I haven't found anything else to work like the Citrus Solve. This one is definitely not doing anything exciting. It's just flaming wet. Man, that is just disappointment. Righto, that's, I'll, I will leave it a bit longer to marinate. Maybe I'm being impatient. But if we go to the Hello, the Citrusol section, where I had a little bit left in the bottom of my bottle, uh, yes, they've already made a little bit of movement on the page. I might rip a few of these out to dry. Uh, they're not brilliant either but they are at least making some kind of movement. They're not looking as good as they should. I'm just not winning today. Not happy about that. <laughs> not winning. Clearly that had none on it. 
Where's the other pages that I put some on? Oh, man. That's really not doing very much at all. Maybe it's too cold. The fabulous ladies in my Facebook group that have been playing with this technique um, have had problems when it's been too cold. So maybe winter in New Zealand is not a good time to be doing it. These pages have dis dissolved more. Uh, we've got a bit of movement happening here. Oh, yes. Yeah. See, that's what we're looking for. That kind of movement and texture and patterning. That's what we want. That. Okay, right so we'll rip those pages out and we'll let them dry because they've got a bit of something going on. When you, when they dry, you'll see it a lot more. That one looks a bit leopard-like. But overall, it's not really a brilliant batch. And if you're trying this technique and you've had this happen where it hasn't really overly worked fabulous, don't stress out because it happens to all of us. Some days it, it's awesome and some days you're just like, man, all that stink and no action. See, that's very dark. It shouldn't be that dark. Maybe it is the weather. Maybe those girls are onto something. Right, oh, well, that's not what it's, oh, that's getting a bit better there, but it's still really dark. Maybe I need a fresh bottle. I don't know, man, seriously. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Right, oh, well, this is not brilliant, and I'm really not happy with my WD-40. Oh, the Citrus Solve is definitely moving better than the WD-40. And do you know what I think? I think it's because the Citrus Solve is concentrated version, and the WD-40 is not. It's that foamy stuff. And perhaps that it's not concentrated enough to really shift the Nat Geo pages. Now, this is what the pages should look like. So this is my previous video where I've showed you how to use the National Geographic pages. These are the pages that came out from that video. And they're awesome. I love them. I use them a lot in my collages. They make fabulous collage papers. And they should look like this. Now, if you can't get Citrus Solve or the Citrus Solve is really too expensive because of the shipping, I do have a link for some free collage papers to download from this particular batch of the Nat Geo pages that worked really successfully. Um, so you can go onto the link in the description and you will get free, hello, collage papers to use because I do know how frustrating it is when it doesn't work. Like today <laughs> now some of these pages will be all right i'm going to rip them out and see how they dry up some of them will be quite interesting but overall i think it's a bust i don't think that this wd-40 is worth your effort trying because i don't think that the foamy solution has enough strength to it to shift the pages like we want them to so you know there's another one busted meh you're just going to have to fork out the money for the shipping of the Citrus Oil because really it's the only product that I have found that actually works. Okay, so while these are wet, and especially because they are too dark and not very exciting, we can play around with what else we can do with them. I'm going to put this stencil on this one and wipe it with a baby wipe because the Citrus Oil is still wet. And it will come off really easy with a baby wipe in the fabulous shape and texture of my stencil. You may as well play with these pages, especially if they haven't turned out exactly how you want them. Because you've got nothing to lose, right? Give it a crack. Try something. Experiment with it and see what happens. You might find something really amazing and then you need to let me know <laughs> because it's all a great experiment and it's really fun trying different ideas right out so i've given that a wipe with a baby wipe and let's see what that does like yeah hello that looks all right you can salvage some of the pages by experimenting with some different ideas what would the spray inks do on them? I don't know. I'm glad you asked. 
Oh, that's not too bad. It's too bad. It kind of gives it a bit of a bling. It's reacting to the degrees of the citrus olive on there. And it's kind of going all weird. But, you know, mm, you don't know, right, till you try. So let's have a look and see what that does as it dries. It kind of all bubbles up, as you would expect, with water and oil. That's kind of fun, right? Have a bit more of a play with some stencils, especially as the degrees is drying. So don't stress out if it doesn't work exactly how you want. Just have a little experiment and see what else you can do with the pages. Especially while they're all laid out here drying, you can really manipulate them very easily. That's pretty cool. Oh, I like those circles. I'm going to do some more. Those pages look really cool. Okay, so there it is. Unfortunately, the WD-40 degreeser with the fast-acting citrus does not work. <laughs> so save yourself the pain of experimenting because I have not and I still have not found another product to work the same to create these National Geographic pages like the Citrusol. Yes, the shipping's a pain, but if you want to create these collage papers dissolving the National Geographic, then you have to use the Citrusol. It's the only thing that I have found that actually works and you have to use the concentrated version. So make sure you get yourself the right bottle. And if you want it, that's what you have to do. It's what you have to pay. Now, if you don't want to do that, these are my downloaded papers um, that I have that you can freely acquire. You just have to go to the right link. So make sure you click on the link in the description that will lead you to my blog. And you can download these pages free because I understand your frustration. But it has been a whole lot of fun. And I'm really glad that I tried this experiment because now I can tell you, hello, nothing else works. <laughs> And then I won't get the same question all the time. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. I had so much fun. <laughs> all the links will be in the description under the video. If you're looking for more information, don't forget to check out my Skillshare classes and I'll see you again next week. Yeah.